So there's a channel out there. You definitely know it. It's called Hannibal is Hungry. I like the guy. I love his channel. I love his videos. He's just such a great speaker. He sums it up. And when I watch this video, he nails it. That's why I'm not even going to say anything above this video because he sums it all up, right? I am just asking YouTubers to jump in. And he says Thanksgiving gig worker strike debate. Yes, it is a debate because you, you, you're fully entitled to opinion. Uh, Pedro Santiago DoorDash is fully entitled to his opinion, as are other people, right? So he, I think he uses the word here, battle, and then corrects himself. It's not a battle. It's not a battle. It's actually keeping the story alive, right? And again, I said in my last video, this is not fun. I'm going to play his video, right? I don't want to talk too long, but it's not fun calling for a strike or a protest or a boycott every six months. But the reason why I do it is to keep the story alive, right? To keep it in the media, to keep reconnecting, reconnecting with the public and saying, hey, the companies need to address this issue. The one is we need better pay. The second is we de definitely deserve better safety in our cars. But let him sum it up for you. Hey, we're going to be talking about the battle between the battle. Red Chef Professor versus Pedro Dordash Santiago. Okay, not a battle. It's more of a back and forth. It's, they're, it's they're, not a battle. Let's break down the differences and see if we can take both ideas and smush their ideas together. I like it. That we can actually do something that's positive for ride-sharing drivers and delivery drivers. So I'm making this video on Thanksgiving. Look at me. I'm looking pretty regular. I don't know. I look like it could be a, one of the part of the Sticky Bandits. Shout out anyone in the comments that actually know what the Sticky Bandits is. But anyway, I'm going to talk about the Thanksgiving Day Strike I saw the Pedro video he put out yesterday, and I just finished watching the rideshare professor's response. Let me actually turn this window in so you guys can hear me. And I thought it was a very interesting back and forth, and you see Pedro's video, rideshare professor's video, check out in the description. I will have both links down there. Pedro's video, he basically says, hey, let's keep the apps on, but stop accepting the crap. Strikes don't work. And the rideshare professor, responded with the reason why he's doing the strike. And I guess, in my opinion, this is probably the best ex explanation that makes sense in terms of why he's doing strikes in the first place. The reason is to keep the story alive. But at the same time, striking, for most people who need these apps to make money, striking is not something that most people want to do. Most people are not able to strike. So I thought about, okay, there's two sides, right? And we look at this, everyone agrees that Drivers, whether you do a ride share or food delivery, need to be treated better. That we are tired of the manipulation, some of the tactics that's been implemented by DoorDash, by Uber, Lyft. They are aggressively trying to get profits by manipulating Correct. the drivers. No one is really happy, right? And we realized in the last two years, people are working more to make the same amount of money they did previously. And let's take DoorDash for example. There was a Top Dasher exploit that DoorDash did not like. What is a Top Dasher exploit? What was the cheat code that Top Dashers were doing? Well, it was all over YouTube. Top Dashers would only work as a Top Dasher for a few days, two, three days, and then cherry pick the entire entire month. DoorDash, in their mind, saying, hey, we don't want you to be a Top Dasher only for two, three days. We want you to be a Top Dasher for the entire month. So. Here comes the diamond program. We need to be 50% or higher to get access to, or access to high priority orders. So it's a cat and mouse game. And I see from the right share professor's point of view of trying to get the public more interested in this. And that's why he decides to go with strikes, press releases. And I understand that. But also, obviously a more realistic point with Pedro saying, stop accepting the crap. Strikes Correct. not going to work. We don't have the reach. People have to pay bills and take care of their family. So I thought, is there a way we can combine two mm -hmm. ideas where we use press releases, we use the media to let everyone know, stop taking bad offers. Stop taking these bad offers. Stop taking the crap. Don't let these companies take advantage of you. Is, there, is that possible? Is that a possible way where we can generate that kind of interest using the press, using the media, because yes, I do believe most customers don't know how badly the drivers are getting shafted. Correct. I think that's the reason why a lot of them don't tip. 
A lot of them just think that you're an employee. You're working for the job and you're getting paid like everyone else. You know, they don't realize that almost 50% or over 50% of your take home pay is based on the tips they provide. This may be the best of both worlds. You push out the press releases. You let the customers know. You let everyone know that we are no longer going to take this kind of crap. And get more drivers who are not on YouTube that may be still checking out press releases, still checking out newspapers, still checking out the local news to understand the struggles that are happening with rideshare drivers Good point. and food delivery drivers. The prime example is New York. If, if you guys live here, you kind of understand what's going on. A lot of the local news was covering a lot of the issues that food delivery drivers were going through, where they couldn't use the bathroom because some restaurants would not allow people to use the bathroom. The weather, crime, your bike getting stolen, you're getting carjacked, you're getting hurt, you're getting robbed. Why are you trying to deliver pizza to people? You're trying to deliver chicken and nuggets to people. The public knew this and when the public is there the politicians are right behind them because the politicians want to do things to make the public happy make people happy so they can get I like elected his, I like his uh, on examples his path career and life as a politician is so to me that is probably the most effective way I understand both angles I understand what Pedro is saying but I understand both points I understand what both men are saying and I think no matter what YouTuber you watch, no matter which one you watch, I mean, uh, there are a few goofballs, but 95% of YouTubers are looking to help people. They're looking to find ways to get everyone to make some more money. That we're here to help entertain, but we really here to go through the journey with people who are doing this kind of work. So true. I'm a full-time independent contractor. I am a full-time gig worker. I do not have a W-2. This is it for me. So I'm very sensitive to the Issues where one day you're making good money, the next day you're not making anything and you're worried about bills and all that type of thing. So more press, I do believe, is, is a good idea. But let's get the right message or at least a message that makes the most sense, that's more functional or more logical for drivers. Stop taking crap. Let's stop taking crap. Keep the apps on, but stop taking crap. I think that's an effective message. It still sticks it to the company, sticks it to corporations. Right, Chair Professor says, that these companies do not like negative press releases. I'm sure they do not. No corporation wants to see bad press about them. Very they don't true. want to see the social media accounts. They show these companies in a bad light. They do not like that. So I think combining both ideas is probably the best path forward. And let, who knows what's going to happen next year. But what do you guys think? Put in the comments below. What do you guys think about... I, I love his idea. I, I can't even add more to that because he says it all, right? I... I, I applaud you i thank you for 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 really looking at two other youtubers myself and pedro and saying hey this is the path forward it could not have been said better right and um obviously the one um topic which is extremely uh dear to me is um you know is the the, the safety thing you know I'd, I'd like to hear more youtubers talk about safety as well not just always about pay we, we need to find ways or we need to put the pressure on the companies to to bring more safety into this gig world, right? Those daily headlines, it's just, it's too much. It's too much. We're just hearing about too many stabbings, killings, hijackings, rapes, assaults. Uh, we need to talk about that more. It's an uncomfortable topic, but we need to talk about it. So I, I thank you for this video. I think it's great. And uh, please subscribe to him. Please subscribe to him. You know, he has... A lot of subscribers and um, he genuinely you can see he genuinely cares and he's he seems very diplomatic in his way right he 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 finds the fine balance I like that so I appreciate your video and leave your comments below thank you